By the end of this series of lessons on drag, you should be able to define and understand the elements that make up total drag. They are skin friction drag, form drag and interference drag, which together are termed parasite drag and induced drag. You will also learn about the effect of lift and configuration on parasite drag. And what is meant by the term streamlining? Drag is the force which resists the forward motion of the aircraft. It acts parallel and in the same direction as the relative airflow. That is, in the opposite direction to the flight path. You need to remember that it makes no difference to the airflow pattern if the aircraft is moving through the air or if the air is moving past the aircraft. It is the relative velocity that matters. Every part of an aircraft that is exposed to the airflow, not just the wing shown here, produces resistance, which can be categorized into various types, which together contribute to total drag. Total drag is subdivided into two main types. Induced drag, or lift-dependent drag, which is the result of lift generation, and parasite drag, or zero-lift drag, which is independent of lift generation. Parasite drag can be further subdivided into skin friction, form drag, and interference drag. Skin friction and form drag together are known as profile drag. To start our examination of drag, we will look at parasite drag.